Oh, so, Semra, let's start first of all, because you were about 17, weren't you? And it was through a friend who was doing Reiki to begin with yeah. that you had this sort of conversation, you got into that. But how did that lead to you becoming a witch? I think that just kind of opened the path, like my spiritual path, and like just all the people I met through doing that back then and all the years and all the synchronicities and yeah. all the crazy people and, I don't know, incidents that have happened in my life have really led me... To where you are now. So I this am. isn't like sort of witches on broomsticks with cats. This no. is very different to that. So what type of witch are you? I am, I call myself an eclectic witch. So I take, you know, different little bits of magic from all over the place. And it's all about self-empowerment and doing rituals to help you manifest, connect to the moon and make you feel really good about yourself. Okay. You, can you cast a bad spell? I wouldn't cast a bad spell. You have just... cast a bad spell. <laughs> I haven't. It's not in, you, you know... cast spells that haven't worked. Oh, oh, a bad spell. I meant yeah. you thought you meant an evil like spell. Like a no, 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 not <laughs> evil spell. Um, occasionally they don't work, but I just generally think if they don't work, it means it's not meant to be. Mm. So you have cast spells, though, where they've been so powerful that the result has been brilliant. Yeah, amazing. That and then, um, the most recent one that was crazy was that I manifested a holiday. I did a spell for a holiday. Um, it was a little spell with a bay leaf and a sacred symbol. And I got a free two-week holiday to Bali, all expenses paid. I mean, two weeks after that happened. <laughs> um, I messaged a friend and I said, do you want to go on holiday? And then I didn't hear back from him. And then he called me and he said, I've done really well at work and I've been given a free holiday and I'm choosing you as my guest. And we've got spending money. <laughs> That's incredible. And we had an incredible two weeks in Bali, all expenses paid. <laughs> and do you make up these spells yourself or have you got these from some witch's book that uh, you found in the woods somewhere? So I mean... I've been geeking out over it for years. Right. Um, but, you know, with herbs, the way that they work, they kind of work how they might work if you're cooking. Right. So if you would want to put um, chilli to spice something up or right. basil to sweeten up a sauce, you know that you would put basil in a spell to bring money or and then chilli you, in a spell you make to make it, something happen fast. But you don't, drink, you don't drink it, or do you drink it? Well, you might make a potion that you can drink, but generally I really like working with incenses mm. and oils. Because a, a, a witch, now, you know, from the old days, a witch would find it a bit of a nightmare, because I have knew you can't use that because they're protected now. <laughs> no, that's so, right. But, so you, you, are, you are using everyday objects mostly? Yeah, everything's really accessible. It's mainly stuff you can find in your kitchen. And I just love that, you know, this stuff has been used for thousands and thousands of years. So well, this so is your um, attached to it all. spell book here, Everyday Magic, and there's love potions, there's potions for heartbreak, there's all sorts of things in here. Yep. And you're going to show us some of these now, aren't yep. you, what you do? Yep. So what are you going to do first? So we're going to start with the spell that you were talking about to get somebody out of the Oh, right. Ah, right. Have, right. We, we, need got, to see have we got them. anyone yet? Uh, Does anyone come hopefully that's going to... Do the, do the next well, one. I'll show you. Oh, the ne the ne do the one. next one, because okay. I still wait for, wait for okay, that to come OK, so through. the next one... This one is how to get somebody to call you. So this works to get a lover oh, to right. call you or somebody Great. to call you if you want a job to call you. Generally works if you know the person right. first. OK, so if you write down the name... So I've got a um, name... It doesn't have to be a lover, though, because obviously no, that would no, 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 it fit in very nicely to <laughs> Vanessa's phone in. Not so good for this. So we'll write, write down the name of just a person you'd like to call you. A person you'd like to call you. Write it down oh. in a little list nine times. Okay. Um, nine times? Nine times. So starting at the top and then going down nine times, write their name, their full name. We've only got three minutes back. It's a... Write fast. <laughs> Can I just put ditto marks? <laughs> yeah, there you go. And uh, then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... No, and then what you do, go. you'd put your name at the end. Yeah. And yeah. then you'll write, call me. And then we've got some attraction oil here. So this has got patchouli, which works like a magnet, lodestone crystal, which is also a magnet, um, and two sticks of cinnamon, which signifies two people coming together. And, oh, you've gone too fast. But what you oh. would do is you'd anoint it in a clockwise direction. On the so actual... Open it, open it up. All right, OK. So what you'll do is just, yeah. An, yeah, just go round like yeah. that and then round like that, and then fold it three times towards you. Oh, one, one two, two, three. three. And then what you do is you put it to the back of your phone or you put it underneath your landline, and within seven days, that person will call you. Within seven oh, days? Yeah. OK. Who I did you write? Know. I wrote uh, a school friend of mine. Ah, uh, that's good. What did you write? National Lottery. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. If they don't call you, then it's a sign that, you know, maybe you shouldn't be speaking. Is that okay. right? I think it's a sign from the universe. Yeah. Have, oh, we got okay. the doc have we got the don't getting rid of people? <laughs> right, OK. It's so Lacey. this is Lacey. Where's the information on Lacey, then? So Lacey said right. she'd like to get rid of her lazy husband. There he is. OK, so she needs he's, to make some black salt. He's gone, he's gone to sleep <laughs> when he has things to do. 
<laughs> so what would she do? Now, she, she needs to she make needs some shoes for this, doesn't she? Shoes are good, yeah. Well, you right. can write it down and just put it on the paper and then just rip it, you know, just kind of like rub it all over the paper because it's powerful. So okay. this is black salt. So it's a mix of like burnt sage, which is really great for protection, and old charcoal from spells that I've used. So if you are making spells, you can have the charcoal and salt. Mm -hmm. And so what you would do is just take a little pinch of it, like that, pop it in there. And then, because you want it to work fast, you can use cayenne pepper. So it pepper, speeds it up. yeah, speeds it up, makes things happen really fast. So you pop a little pinch of that in there like that. Yeah. And then what you do is you pop it in the pestle and mortar, like that. And then you can blend it. If you're blending stuff to go away, you go anti-clockwise. If you want ah. stuff to come in, you go clockwise. Hmm. Oh, right. So you can just do a blend And you put that in their shoes. And then what They're you do is... They're going to see that it's in there, because cayenne pepper's <laughs> going to make everything go orange. <laughs> put it in the tip. So that makes it go away, and then... Put it in the tip, and then make their shoes face the front door. Yeah. And ah. then put a pinch in each in the tip. And then that seven days, they'll be gone. Yeah, and it works fast. But also, you have to be aware, because sometimes this can work in a... Magic works in mysterious ways. So this could be a situation where, all of a sudden, something might come up that you get to leave. Or, you know, like, things can work oh, in see. different ways. So I it might see. not just be necessarily them going. It could be you get to leave or something happens so that you have an opportunity to not Oh, that's a bit of a spell anymore. blowback, that one, isn't it? If you put it in their shoes and you go... <laughs> no, no, because you might, might have an be amazing opportunity. It it you're, you go because you've got a free holiday or the lottery have just rung you and you're going to go and just do whatever you want to do. Oh, it's just quite random, then, in that well, case. Well, it's magic works yeah. in a mysterious way. Thank you. Thank you. That was fantastic. Lovely. Thank you very much. As we said, that's the book.